Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aries, please, Spirit. Messages for my Aries, please, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Aries, please, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aries, please, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Okay. So we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, and we have the Pre-Empress energy, a Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Seven of Swords. Messages for my Aries, please. Messages for my Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Oh, guys. Messages for my Aries, please. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Hanged Man, Piscean energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy, and the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Oh, Aries, I just want to like, whoever's going through this, I just want to like hug you and kiss you. So I don't know if you're going through this, or Aries, if your partner is going through this, um, hug and kiss them okay what i'm feeling here is we have one person in this connection who is crazy abundant okay someone here may have a ton of money someone here may be just really really hot okay <laughs> like i don't know but someone here there's a lot of people fighting over this person could be you aries could be your person all right. Someone here has a shit ton of competition that they're up against. Like, it's like you're with someone that everyone wants to be with. Okay. Um, and I feel like someone here is worried that they are not enough. What I mean, I can love this person, but what can I really give to this person to make them stay? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like what's going to happen is this person maybe isn't giving love in their full potential because there's a fear of them being rejected or turned down. Or maybe someone still feels like they're on the chopping block. Like what if they, you know, what if they cut me off to go be with someone else? Um, yeah, I, I feel like someone here... I feel like someone here is wanting to give something stable, but you see this person is coming in as a knight. You know, there may be an age difference between you and this person, okay? Uh, could be an age difference, but I feel like you're dealing with someone here that every day this person grows. Like every day, like this person just, I mean, gosh, these three cards are just like, <laughs> they're just like calling me. You're dealing with someone here like every day they're getting, they, they just look better, feel better. I don't know what it is. Like someone here is just like, oh my gosh, you know, but this person here, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, um, they're coming with some love. They're coming with some stability. They're coming with an offer, but I mean... You know, I mean, they just don't feel like, you know, someone here feels like they can lose their person at any time. What if they choose someone else? Like, I'm offering it, but is my little pentacle enough? Like, you know what I'm saying? Two of pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Aries. Are you going through the... Who's going through this? I just want to give them a hug. Someone's like, am I good enough? I know there's other people. I know this person can break my heart any time. Could I possibly win out of all of these people? Could I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow, Aries. 
you know, this could be how that your person feels about you. This person, you know, you may feel this way about this person. Someone is feeling very insecure very insecure and guys i don't say that lightly okay because you know i i don't say that lightly i i feel like we're dealing with someone here that you know for the most part may generally have a good amount of confidence it's not like this person has a complex where they have low self-esteem or something i just feel like that you know I, this person is up against a freaking powerhouse like you know what i'm saying i mean this person grows daily i mean look at this look at how they morph and transition and you know this person is like a goddess or a god like you know what i'm saying i mean this person is just you know and it's it's a little i think you know maybe overwhelming someone here is i mean they're staying in the race i don't really see anyone giving up per se um but there's always this sense of i could be cut out at any time do you understand i could be cut out at any time tell me about the empress please tell me about the empress tell me about the empress we've got the sun leo energy tell me about the queen of pentacles we have the two of wands Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of, of Pentacles. And the Ten, uh, excuse me, the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So what we have here is someone that everyone sees as Empress level. Okay, this person plans for their future. They make goals, they set goals. And with the Queen of Swords energy, this is someone who knows how to protect their abundance okay in every way spiritually they're enlightened this person not only has abundance not only has prosperity and blessings but that shit ain't going nowhere look you know what i'm saying they know how to protect what they have tell me about the five of wands tell me about the five of wands for my aries tell me about the five of wands for my aries please tell me about the five of wands King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Guys, there is a lot of people. There could be jealousy here. We've got the devil under the deck, Capricorn energy. But there's a lot of people that get, um, there's a lot of emotional, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Someone is trying to keep this under wraps with the King of Cups energy because the King of Cups knows how to hold in emotion, knows how to not show how they're truly feeling. But someone here may be feeling very jealous, very um, possessive. Um, you know, th this person's in love and they're just scared. They're scared that their person is going to go, you know, be with someone else or someone's jealous if, if this, you know, Empress energy gives time or energy to someone else. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. The Knight of Cups for my Aries. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for my Aries, please. Oh, wow. You gotta love tarot, man. Look, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, two times. So this person is staying on this even level, whereas this person seems to be ascending all the time. Seven, uh, uh, seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. I feel like someone here is scared that they're going to end up disappointed, that they're going to get pushed away and end up disappointed. Five of Cups and Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Like someone here is in this energy of, am I enough? The moon card, I don't know. Am I enough for a Queen of Pentacles? You know what I'm saying? Is this person going to cut me off? I don't know. Unknown, Two of Swords, I have no freaking idea. You know, can I, you know, can I hold on to this beautiful energy? The Hanged Man. Tell me about the Hanged Man for my Aries, please. Tell me about the Hanged Man for my Aries, please. Tell me about the Hanged Man. We've got the Four of Cups. It's almost like someone here is straight up waiting for rejection. It's like they're waiting to be told, no, you're not good enough. You have to go. Do you understand? Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for my Aries. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for my Aries. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So I feel like what's happening here is someone was giving love, someone was giving commitment, but maybe it was going at a slow pace. Knight of Swords, things are starting to pick up. Tell me about the Seven of Swords for my Aries. Tell me about the Seven of Swords for my Aries. 
Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like maybe um, Aries, someone is going to start pursuing a little bit more because someone is stuck in their head that um, this person is going to leave. They're stuck in their head that they're going to leave. So maybe with the Knight of Swords energy, someone here may... Um, yeah, see, look, <laughs> Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius Energy, Five of Pentacles in Reverse. So I feel like what's going to happen here, guys, is this person, this knight, okay, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, it's going to start speeding up the pace a little bit and saying, you know, Page of Wands, dropping little hints here and there. Hey, you know, I'd be devastated if you leave me, right? <laughs> five of swords and the five of... Can you, can you promise me that you're never going to leave me? Someone here may start asking for promises. Like, can you promise me that you're never going to leave me? Because I'm, I really think you're going to leave me. Someone here really maybe, you know, wants someone to make a decision, possibly. Tell me a little bit more about this seven of swords and this eight of swords. I want to just hug this person and just, like, kiss their whole face and tell them it's going to be okay. Because someone is just coming through from this place of, you know, it, it, I'm just waiting here. I, I, I'm, I'm positive that if I just wait long enough that you're just going to leave me. You know what I'm saying? So someone here is just like in this energy of like, you know, I, I, I know you're going to leave me. Tell me about the chariot. We've got the death card, Scorpionic Energy. Tell me about the judgment card the high priestess cancer piscean energy there's a decision being made here what is this decision tell me about the chariot and the death card please tell me oh okay the chariot again cancerian energy what decision is being made high priestess someone is using their higher judgment to make a decision someone here they're following their intuition the justice card libra energy tell me about the justice card and the Six of Wands. Someone here is about to make a move for victory. Whatever someone here is about to say or do, they're locking it down. It's, it's kind of... Judgment card again. It's kind of funny because it's like, it's like we've got this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Swords. So what happens is this person's giving love, they're giving commitment, they're taking it slow, and then things start to speed up because this person's like, you know what, I'm going to lose my Empress, right? And someone starts asking for promises like, oh, say you're never going to leave me. Say this, say that. Someone here is about to make a judgment call that will bring them victory to make sure that they don't lose this. Tell me about this chariot. What is this? We've got the six of swords. Tell me about this chariot and the six of swords and the nine of wands. They're, they're, they're about to make a decision to make sure that this, this empress never leaves. Look at this wheel of fortune under the deck, the star under the deck, the tower under the deck, the empress under the deck. Maybe someone here, because we've got the judgment card and the justice card, maybe someone's getting married. I'm seeing a, a promise of I'll never leave you. Promise me you'll never leave me. Promise me you'll never leave me. Promise me you'll never leave me. Someone here is gonna is gonna do some do something to lock this down. Yeah. Someone's gonna make a, a pretty big gesture, a really big decision. I mean, this is like a really big decision to lock this down so that they don't lose their empress or emperor. Take it as it resonates. We don't read we don't read gender in tarot. Tell me about what my Aries need to know, please. Tell me about what my Aries need to know, please. So we've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Calling in your soulmate is in the reverse. Guys, I feel like what's happening here is... Someone here needs to ascend. This knight level needs to ascend to get to like emperor level to be with this empress. And I feel like calling in your soulmate, it's in reverse because you've already found it. You've already found your person. Messages do we have here for my Aries? We've got playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful uh, spirit of fun to shine. And we've got love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like this is relax. 
Aries, this is this is this is an energy of relax. Have your self-respect. Just laugh, joke, have a good time. Focus on healing. Focus on healing. Focus on yourself. Stop focusing on the fact that this person's going to leave me because they don't love me. Stop doing that. You need to start taking things with a more lighthearted approach. Know your worth. Put your self-respect first. Know your worth here. I feel, guys, that you have all, all, that whatever you've prayed for, whatever you've manifested, it's it's here or it's not going to manifest until you forgive from the past or learn from your past there may have been um a past situation aries where got that got your self-esteem down so bad that you know spirit is saying listen you need to learn to let go let god you need to heal you need to forgive that past situation or i can't bring this new thing in for you do you see what i'm saying so it's almost like someone maybe Maybe someone just breaks the barrier here, Aries, where it's not a, like a marriage that takes place, but it's a decision in stepping up to the plate and knowing, you know what? I know my empress isn't going to leave me. I know that this is my blessing. Do you see what I'm saying? Because look at what we have here, Aries. We have with the tower, the star. I know this is meant for me. I know this is for me. I know that my person's never going to leave me. Do you see what I'm saying? We've got the death card, which is a, a major transition. It's essential. It's some, a way of thinking, ending, something ending, something new beginning. This is an energy of, I know I'm going to have victory. I know that, you know, my person loves me. I know, you know, so it's healing something. I feel like you've remained separated from this person possibly because of issues of, you know, fear of abandonment, possibly from childhood, or it's just this energy of victory, you know, so either someone's making a decision to, you know, really lock something down so that they know that this will succeed, but I I'm feeling more it's internal like someone is saying I know I'm deserving of this I know my empress loves me I know I know I know do you see what I'm saying I know that they're never gonna leave me I know that they're never gonna leave me you deserve love you are lovable I know that they're never going to leave me. Spirit, tell me about my... Yeah, see, look, wedding. This is going to end. We've got wedding, wedding, honeymoon. Look, wedding, honeymoon, free yourself and give yourself a chance. Aries, you need to let go, let God hear. I feel a wedding. I see a honeymoon. Once you free yourself from the mental prison and truly give this a chance, okay? You're going to come to realize that this person's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? They're not going anywhere. I don't, I don't feel like this person wants anyone else but you i don't see any third party i don't see all i see is fear do you see what i'm saying fear so someone here just needs that little sense of say i feel like someone's gonna say something i feel like this empress is gonna say listen you know i'm never gonna leave you right and that one little thing that gets said boosts someone's confidence through the roof of i know i know that this is mine i know this is meant to be i know it you know what i'm saying and that's it it just takes off from there okay all right guys i love you bye